bloody moment in detention as DSS officer got butchered into pieces by angry prisoner. Namdi Kano's lawyer raised alarm. All right, my people, you are welcome to the Lord TV. We are coming straight to you this morning on this uh these very brokers that have just been revealed to us in fact you will not believe it it's a shocker how come how come how did it happen that the dss officer in detention have to be butchered into pieces by a detained prisoner you know sometimes these um dss officers they overdo and they overstep and take their decisions that are not um, that are not uh, uh, assigned to them. You know, example. If you remember when Mazinam Lekanu was uh, wrongly in interrogated one time ago, they went. They never assigned them that. They never told them to get Nam Lekanu interrogated that day. You know, even the torture they gave to him that day. And everything was just done on their own free will. Nobody told them to do that. It was as if they were paid, you know, to torture Namdekano. Now, um, this very one was very bloody that uh, this prisoner, only God know how he got a knife with him. Probably he has been keeping it with him inside the detention, you know. You need to see how he put Chad the officer to pieces. You'll be shocked. Let's check the contents, my dear listeners. This is morning news. When members of the Nigerian police force came into conflict with unidentified gunmen in DSS custody, it became very violent. It has been reported that one of the police officers in DSS custody has been bloodily butchered by one of the detainees. The police officer who actually interrogated the prisoner wrongly, even while he was not assigned to, was stabbed and cut into pieces. Angrily, this prisoner held him by the neck and cut his neck slit off. During investigation, it was discovered that this officer went on his own free will without proper follow-up of what is expected of him in that very detention. Though effort is still ongoing to know who has assigned that officer, such an assignment because it wasn't part of his duty to get such prisoner on feet on that day. It's very painful that such officer is already bleeding seriously as he has been rushed to a nearby hospital. So you can you cannot get it, my dear listeners. So who is to be blamed here? Who is to be blamed? I don't think anybody is to be blamed. The officer is to be blamed because he is the one that um, double stepped. He is the one that double stepped. He is the one that trespassed. He moved when he was not told to move. You understand? He moved when he was not supposed to move. Look at the statement. You were not assigned to any prisoner that very day. You went at your own free will. You know, sometimes these are police officers, they just, you know, get paid to be to go and kill one prisoner silently. I think this one will serve as a lesson to so many of them that has been proven difficult and stubborn. You understand? Yes. It will serve as a as a big punishment to them. So that next time they will know how to respect um people 
you get it uh -huh. so my dear people let us be realistic to ourselves on this matter it's of nobody's fault it's not uh the the prisoner's fault it's not namikan's fault in fact the moment that very incident happened namikan was whisked off from that very cell to another cell mm -hmm. so that's safety for you all right let's quickly hear from you i know what you also think about what has just been revealed to us this morning of uh, what just happened in detention it's a shocker don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you